Welcome to the first stream of Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered. I'll be tackling uh, both Assassin's Creed, uh, all, all of uh, Assassin's Creed 3, Liberation, and the Tyranny of King Washington. I've never played the DLC of this, but as you can see, I already have 12 achievements. So let's go over that real quick, since I won't be able to show that off. Something else I want to actually try is apparently... The mic isn't working. Okay, it is. Apparently, I can actually set myself to do not disturb and the achievements will still pop up. I think I need to do that through my profile. So this is really just an experiment, but let's load into Assassin's Creed 3. I said let's load into Assassin's Creed 3 and I was trying to go into the achievements. Because uh, I actually already got 12 of them. Gonna go quickly over how to get each and every one of these if you're just playing fresh. Because I will not be able to show these achievements in game. Re enter the animates, that's very easy, you'll get it through the story. Block your firing line, you'll see when you're playing the game British soldiers or uh, revolutionaries lining up in groups of four or five. And you have about like a 10 second window to grab a nearby soldier and use them as a human seal. Do that five times, you'll get this achievement. This for you guys is creating, uh, is completing sequence one and two, completing sequence three. So this is all just story. If you want to join a club, you'll get that through playing the game. Uh, recruit any of your artisans as uh, uh, for very easy, just do uh, any of the homestead missions. Complete sequence five, that story. Complete present uh, skyscraper, you'll get that if you're playing the game. Upgrade the Aquila, you'll do that through the story. And we retrieve every page from one of Ben Franklin's almanacs. It's collectible things, there's usually sets uh, uh, four pages. Uh, just completing each set, uh, one of those sets will get to the achievement. And this is something that you'll get if you're playing the game. You basically will encounter Panthers or something that will kill an enemy. See that happen once, you'll get that achievement. And no, likely, uh, like me, you'll get that without even trying. I didn't even notice the panther was uh, killed someone until after it happened. And I got the achievement. Now let's get started. I already have a save file for this scheme, but I've never actually uh, completed this on in this version of the game. That is, I have actually beaten this game shortly after it came out. But never 100% it, so this will be a new experience for me. I am gonna be trying to uh, to do two things as Hatham before I move on to uh, Connor's story, and that is uh, uh, synchronizing all the viewpoints and collecting all the Omni pages I can get as Hatham through the uh, through Boston. I already have a save file set up. I'm actually going to delete this. Just uh, set up a new 100. Because it's going to be for 100% completion. Let's go. It used to be when people talked about the end of the world, we locked them up. Or laughed them off. Sometimes both. But we never took them seriously. Maybe we should have. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Better to start at the beginning with the abduction of Desmond Miles, my son. This boy had no ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage, one he chose to deny. It nearly cost him his life. He was captured and imprisoned. Those who took him believed he could help them find something. The apple. One of several artifacts we call pieces of Eden. Bits of ancient technology scattered across the globe. Some hidden, some found, all of them dangerous. Most are held by a single group, the same group that now had Desmond. You know them as obscure. It's a lost yell. We know them as the Templars. Uh, hello from America. We've been fighting them for That's thousands of my favorite too. Even longer if you believe the stories of their origin. 
I've seen the truth. That's the beauty and the horror of the Amethyst. A device that allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything, to show us history the way it really happened. Up until its creation, to the victor when the spoils went to the tree. We're trying to fix that, to free minds and bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do, and the Templars have the upper hand these days. But something larger than the Assassins and Templars is approaching, bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to him. To Desmond. Through the Animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. He used another ancestor to provide decades of experience in the span of a few days. It worked. We think. Soon, though, soon we'll know that ominous date fast approaches, December 21st, 2012. None of us knows what it'll bring, only that this is where they want us to be when it does. They've been guiding us in their own fractured, frustrating way. These voices from the first civilization, the ones who came before, a precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of Eden. This is where they've led him, and through him, us. He stands at the entrance to this long-lost place, armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio. He holds in his hands the apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him, however we can. His name is Desmond Miles, and he has brought us to the end. Alright, I simply don't like to talk when there's a cutscene, so, uh, sorry about that. But it's a very cool scene. He's one of the most memorable. I think we're gonna get another cutscene soon. We're here. I honestly haven't beaten this game since 2012 when this game came out, so this is an Let's interesting go. experience. But uh, I have a lot of good memories of it. This game is essentially like the nostalgia game for me. This uh, is through this game that I first got into the series. I was playing at one of my best friend's uh, house and he was struggling with this uh, game. Up to get past the mission he, he was struggling with, and I immediately fell in love with this uh, series. In another moment, down went Alice after it, never once considering how in the world she was to get out again. Actually, just reading Alice in Wonderland recently for school. No, GT Tulu. I don't want to become famous because my followers can get my channel banned. Uh, kind of an easy mistake new streamers can make where they think they can just cheat the system by buying followers and I can just have their channel get deleted. I think we're here. That's honestly kind of weird. It just looks weird to me. Like he just kind of leaked down and just starts sliding. Looks weird.
Try to speak boa tare pesol. Uh, sorry, I probably butchering that language. Uh, good afternoon, people. I am the only language I know is English, so <laughs> probably butchering our language. Sorry about that. Do you hear us? Uh, yeah. What happened? The temple triggered a bleeding effect. You collapsed and entered into a fugue state. So naturally, you dropped me into the Animus instead of, I don't know, making sure I was okay? You weren't in any danger. Besides, the temple appeared to be communicating with you, and I didn't want to risk severing the connection. At least not until we knew what it wanted. Of course. Don, I... No, it's fine. I get it. And I know what I'm looking for, by the way. With the key. No idea where it is, though. I guess that's why she triggered the bleeding effect. She? Juno, Dad. She's talking to me. Alright. The okay, Desmond, while you were, uh... Visiting Constantinople, we picked up a software update for the Animus. I'd like to run a couple of quick tests to make sure there aren't any major issues. All right. What do you need me to do? We'll start simple. Walk to the marker over there. All right. Simple tutorial. Honestly, can't wait until I uh, get to play uh, Hatham. The game actually starts. This is a game I've been looking forward to playing for a while now on my channel. Okay, Desmond. Let's practice climbing on these objects. The uh, game is easily one of my favorite games. It's something I found that's kind of cool. Uh, where am I going? Oh, up there. Uh, it's uh, recently uh, I've been playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla since launch, and I thought it was so cool how they kind of had a tie in to Assassin's Creed 3, uh, where you can actually go to this location. Uh, to this location, you can't go into this uh, the vault itself. But it's just, it was really cool how you can I'm actually see the door. Alright, simple parkour. I honestly kind of missed uh, the free running segments in recent Tesla Creed games. Like, just free running is easily the thing I enjoyed the most That's about the recent uh, about Tesla Creed. All right, Desmond, follow the on-screen instructions and kill the two Templars. Hey, I actually completed the optimal objective, that's nice. All you have to do here is jump the gap. That's not seeing easy... Oh, God. Great job. That's a really easy... Uh, Again. Okay, come on. Ezia, uh, Desmond. Thank you. Try this again. I can't rush it. I didn't actually screw something up, did I? No. Just making sure there's no second optional objective.
All right, here we go. Synchronization levels look good now. We should be able to build the world. Time to find out what the temple wants from me. Become Kenway. Also one of my favorite antagonists of the series. Uh. Sir. Sir. Everything all right, sir? Yes, fine. I'm I just preoccupied. I feel like he's the only one that I absolutely love. Master Bert will be meeting you inside. Thank you. Or for maybe Cheshire Borgia. Once you're done. In front of the Opera House. And be quick about it. Don't expect to be here long. I'll bring her round at once. Invitation, please. Shall I take your coat, sir? It doesn't look like there's any uh, optional objectives yet. Ladies and gentlemen, you are requested to kindly find your seat. Good evening, sir. This way, please. Love this mission, it's so cool. My apologies. Evening, Hatham. Reginald? I can't tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. Have you seen it before? Once. My father brought me here as a child. Though I remember little of it. I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. On to business then. Do you see him? seated in one of the boxes above. The stairs are watched. We'll need to find another way up. I already have. Alright, our first target. Uh, get up. Oh, he gets up automatically, okay. A thousand pardons. I'm so sorry. I honestly can't remember if there's actually an optional objective for this. One pop up now? Nope. Okay. On. Okay. Uh, honestly, I honestly love this mission. It's just, I mentioned this before, this one, uh, this is easily one of my favorite introductory mission series, because it's just, it's very interesting, but, uh, it's really, honestly, I don't know why I like this mission so much, but it's just, I honestly can't find the exact reason, but it's just, it's cool concept for me. slowly I'm looking for vibration there you go Any 
Nope. No Optimal Jacks is yet. They, these Optimal Jacks is really the reason why I quit and keep checking. It's because they seem to uh, come up with surprise where I just often just don't notice they pop up until I complete the mission and find out I missed one. That's why I keep uh, checking to see if I have them because I don't want to miss, find out that I missed an Optimal Jacket. Found another way. Yes. But then you would have known. For what it's worth. I'm sorry. As to have my Let's go. Can't really run, so I'm just uh, walking. Exactly the wrong guy. Just making sure. Yep, still on to objective. Move. Oh, I guess I can fast walk. Even though it's not really much faster. Alright. It's about the end of this. Okay, there's one uh, thing coming up, like not this mission, but the next mission, that I feel like will be the first real challenge for me. I think so, anyway. And how was the opera? Rather dull, truth be told. Shall we be off then? Aye. To fleet and bribe. By your command. Fascinating. Gentlemen, I hold in my hand a key. And if this book is to be believed, it will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that will be held within? It could contain certain knowledge. Perhaps a weapon, or something as yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. They are still an enigma, these three curses. But of one thing I am certain. Whatever waits behind those doors shall prove a great boon to us all. Or... Our enemies, should they find it first. They won't. You've seen to that. I assume you know where this storehouse is? Ah, Mr. Harrison. Gentlemen, 
How fair your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. That's a lot of ground to cover. My apologies. Were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. And that is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. We'd like for you to travel to America, locate the storehouse, and take possession of its contents. I'm yours to command. Although a job of this magnitude will require more than just myself. Of course. Upon this paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. With them at your side, you will want for nothing. Well, then I'd best be on my way. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced. We book you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. Go forth, Haytham, and bring honor to us all. All right. Mission complete. This one is an optional objective or something. That's not wrong.